Good afternoon from the Epcot parking lot. We are here today because during Festival of the Arts over in the Canada Pavilion at La Cellier, they're having brunch on weekends only. I'm it's so excited. Very specific thing that you have to do to do brunch at La Cellier during Festival of the Arts only, only on, on the weekends. weekends. Yeah. So we're headed in to do that right now. Maybe we'll have a look around Festival of the Arts too. Also, little baby Jackson's here and his second theme park will be Epcot. He's wearing his cool guy sunglasses. He is ready. He has his fan. He has his activity arch. He has like all of his pacifiers. He has everything. Oh, he's, and he's eating his bear. He's good to go. I think we're oh, going to yeah. have a good day. We think so. Yeah, he's going to really love brunch. He's a brunch baby. Oh yeah, brunch baby. Brunch baby, brunch <laughs> baby here in the sand from July till the end of... Festival of the Arts. <laughs> so we had to real quick stop and feed Jackson and uh, we've been having a little bit of an issue with timing today. <laughs> yeah. So we made the reservation for 1230 and then we got stuck in traffic like there was a really bad accident mm -hmm. and so we hit traffic and then I changed the reservation to like 210 and then traffic started moving and I was like oh, okay let me change it back to 130 and I changed it to 130 and now uh, we are trying to get in and Jackson's like no I'm hungry now and so um the reservations in like 20 minutes we could probably still make it there but we're gonna see we're gonna we, see what we, happens yeah we might be late so we're gonna kind of guide you guys through like if you're late for your reservation what could happen yeah we'll see if they let us in hopefully they do yeah i i think that they would because i could get a reservation for like an hour from now right pretty easily so i don't know this will be a, a lot of uh, a lot of troubleshooting today i think i think so kind of the way it is when you have a newborn you kind of have to like be on your toes. Oh yeah, I'm like always, yeah, yeah. And you gotta bring a whole bunch more stuff with you than you normally do. So much stuff. Yeah. What do you think, Jen? What do you think of this view? I can't wait to see the most beautiful girl in school. Well, too bad, she's behind a wall. Oh no, the Epcot ball. No, it's right here. Oh yeah, but there's a wall right in front of it. Oh, oh there is a wall right there. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Even Jackson was like, oh. The Epcot ball, and also, new signs so on the way in instead of heading that way over there by the pin station which today's the last day of we're gonna head this way towards the canada pavilion because this will be a little bit easier to navigate it won't be as crowded as the normal main drag in to epcot okay this is strange there's no building here anymore and you can see test track th through this area right here you could never see test track before everything has totally changed since the last time i've been here it's like a different park i can hear the music just started for uh What's it called? The, the the gravity? Oh, Defying Gravity. Is that what it's called? I think it's called Defying Gravity. Oh, I gotta remember what it's called. It's not called Defying Gravity. It's, we figured it out. It's Art Defying Gravity. Oh no, that's what's his name from Animal Kingdom. Oh, the harp. The harp guy. He's so awesome. We love him. All right, we've made it to the Canada Pavilion and we're headed towards La Cellier. Actually, we're not too bad. We're only like 10 minutes late. That's not terrible. So here it is, La Cellier. In case you guys are wondering where this is, Canada Far and Wide is up in there. This is actually the exit to Canada Far and Wide, and that's where the Kid Cot station is. And this is where La Cellier is. Here we are. We are headed into La Cellier. This is exciting. So here's a look at the brunch menu. Like we said, only Festival of the Arts, and it's $67 per person. A lot of people were coming in thinking that they could get the lunch menu, and they could not because this is the only menu that they're serving until four o'clock today. And you get, oh, it's like a, you get for the table, you get an entree, and then you get a dessert. Ooh, maple creme brulee sounds so good. And you can see it's two table service meals for your dining plan. I like that they have cinnamon roll French toast, bread pudding, everything. It's like all desserts, but it's not even on the dessert menu. Hello there, folks. How y'all doing today? Good. How are you? I am excellent. Thank you. Here's something that I thought was very interesting is you get La Cellier Bloody Caesar or Mimosa included within the price or coffee or non-alcoholic beverages, but there's no list of what the non-alcoholic beverages are. We got, uh, yeah, you got a raspberry blitz and I got an, an apple with maple, something or other, an Ottawa apple. Because they have a different one outside that has alcohol in it, but mine doesn't. This ought to be good. And Jackson was like, I need out of my stroller. <laughs> we got our assorted pastries. So we got some chocolate croissants, some regular croissants, and then we got some apple pastries here. And he said that they get these from the French pavilion right around the corner. And then they also brought us out because maple is a big part of Canadian life. We've got some maple yogurt with some maple granola on top. 
and then we've got some butter. When you come here for dinner, though, the butter has maple sea salt, maple and sea salt, but for brunch, they just do plain butter. So this is what the inside of the chocolate croissant looks like. It's got like a pretty nice amount of chocolate and it's so good. This is like delicious, delicious chocolate. You can tell that it's quality chocolate. Very flaky and buttery, delish. This was a, an Alberta apple is what he called it. What did you say it was? Okay. So this is my drink. I got the Alberta apple. So the Alberta apple is the non-alcoholic version of the Ottawa apple, which has like maple crown royal in it. And what did you get? I got a raspberry blitz. So it's ginger ale, raspberry puree, and lime juice. All right, so I'm gonna mix up the yogurt and try a little bite of it. And I think they'll bring you more of this if, you, um, if it's not enough, like if you want more, but so I got it all mixed up. I kind of thought it was gonna be like really heavily flavored of maple, and it's not. It's not super heavily flavored. Um, so it's actually really nice and light and delicious and like fresh tasting. Um, it tastes kind of like Greek yogurt. You know how Greek yogurt has a different flavor? Um, but it's really good. I like it. This is basically like what I would have for a snack at home. So they do give you paper straws here, which is nice. It's really good. It's, it's pretty tart. Um, it has like a little bite to it. I like it. So I'm gonna try this. I'm not gonna use a straw because it has the graham cracker sugary rim around it. So I'm excited to see what that's all about. Oh, it's like brown sugar. This is good. It's, it almost tastes like, like a apple whiskey, but there's no whiskey in it. That's really interesting. Huh. Yeah, it's not like super sweet. It tastes like really fresh apples. This is most enjoyable, yeah. Okay, so here are our first, We what we decided to do is we decided to just order everything on the menu. This is the steak tartare, which looks really good. This is the cheddar and bacon soup. It's beer, cheddar, and bacon. Awesome. This is the avocado toast. Which it doesn't look like your traditional avocado toast. It's very beautiful. Yeah. It has like a tomato jam and like a, the avocado slices and a goat's cheese, I think. And these are the everything bagel deviled eggs. These look pretty interesting. I don't eat salmon, but I feel like I might try one of these. So I dug into the beef tartare. It's pretty good. It actually almost tastes like sushi. It has uh, what is it? It's like a 67 degree egg. One of those that's soft boiled, but to an exact temperature. So it's a little bit runny. And then I think I'm not really sure what this black stuff is on top. I feel like maybe it's some form of fish roe. This is good. So talk to me. What do you think of this food so far? I love everything. Um, the steak tartare, it had this really faint flavor of sushi. And I don't know what, like it almost tasted like seaweed, like how when you have a sushi roll, that seaweed flavor. Um, I liked it though, it was really good. I really enjoyed that, but if you don't love sushi, you may not like it. Um, the but I did like it and I don't love sushi, so. Oh, that's true. Um, the avocado toast is so good. Yeah. It has like just a really nice flavor. The goat's cheese and the avocado go great together. And I love that tomato jam. It was Super just, fresh. Yeah, so, so nice. And then the beer cheese soup is always good. It's very thick. Um, it's almost like thick like gravy, but I really liked it. And I really, really enjoyed the deviled eggs. They do taste like an everything bagel, which is awesome. And then, of course, they have like the little seafoody flavor of the smoked salmon. But I like that the capers are, I think they're fried because they're very crunchy. So I, like, I really did love everything. What did mm. you think? Real talk, that avocado toast was the best thing out of anything. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm. Yeah. Beef tartare was good. Uh, you needed to do it on the crackers, and I feel like they didn't give you. It was just like one, one thing of toast. I feel like we need more toast with it. Other than that, fantastic flavor. Uh, and I don't like sushi, but I like the beef tartare. The soup was very, like we said, thick, bacon flavored. A lot of nice bacon in there. So yeah, I feel it was like very smoky. Yeah, if you are here on a cold day, I feel like that soup would be really good. And then for the uh, deviled eggs. I don't really like fish, so <laughs> those have like kind of a fishy flavor to them. They're, I tried them. I loved them. Yeah, but I don't like fish, so. But my drinks, this drink is awesome. Mm -hmm. Real good. 
So I'll be honest, if we stopped eating right now after just the appetizers and the pastries, I'd be happy. Yeah, I feel like I would be full too, for the most part, but like everything's been so delicious. I loved every single appetizer. I think I loved the steak more than my deviled eggs. Oh, really? Yeah, they were both like my top two. Wow. Yeah, I, it was all very good. So here are our entrees. We have the steak Benedict. Look at how good that steak looks. Holy cow. This is the breakfast hash, it's like a corned beef hash. Oh, it's already started melting. This is the cinnamon roll French toast bread pudding, like everything all mixed in one. And this is the lobster grits. All of these things look so delicious, but like, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like this steak is the star of the show. So the little baby Jackson is very tired and uh, he's asleep. We're gonna try to put him down in the stroller while we finish eating, but, but this little baby is out. He is asleep. Yeah, there, well, 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 one eye open. All right, lady, what did you think of the entrees? Okay. So I read an article that said that the corned beef hash was the best entree item and that is wrong. That was a lie. The lobster and grits was by far the superior item on this menu. It was so delicious. The lobster was cooked perfectly. Um, there was like this kind of liquid layer on top of the lobster and grits, but once you like mixed it all up, it was like, it made everything the perfect consistency. It was so creamy and like rich and just so delicious. And there were little like chives kind of cut up in it. It was just perfect. Honestly, I would eat that like every day if I could. Um, and then the steak eggs benedict was really good. The steak was cooked really well. And it had a nice little like tomato and asparagus, like little chop salad thing to the side. That was really good. And then the, oh no, Jackson's getting unhappy. Um, and then the cinnamon bun French toast bread pudding was my next choice, was my number three. And that was really good. It was very rich. And then the, um, what was the other one? Corned beef. Oh, the hash. That wasn't good. There was very little corned beef in it. So it, had, it was much more potato than anything else. It just wasn't my favorite. So for me, I think that the um, Eggs Benedict was the best. That steak was so good. That only makes me want to come back here for dinner to get the filet. Although that wasn't a filet. It was just like a steak. I don't know what kind of steak it was. Maybe like a, I don't know, it was very tender. It was probably a sirloin. Yeah, maybe a sirloin. It was kind of thin though. So maybe a skirt steak? No, I think it was a sirloin. Sirloin? Okay, so it, but it was cooked perfectly. Like nice, medium cook. Like nice and charred on the outside, pink on the middle. The, what, what is, I wish I remembered the degree egg, 76 degree egg? No, I think it was 63. 63 degree egg. It's like a soft boiled egg, but like the perfect consistency. For, instead of poaching it, like they soft, they do that. They sous vide it. Sous vide it, yeah. Oh man, it's awesome. Um, the little asparagus, I don't I don't really like asparagus, so <laughs> it wasn't my thing. Um, I tried the lobster and grits and I don't like lobster, so. That wasn't top on my list like it was for Jen. You're wrong. It was delicious. Uh, no. The, the cinnamon bun French toast bread pudding, very sweet. Like very much a dessert item. They were calling it pre dessert which is a fun term. Um, and then it had a, a, um, it had a cream cheese ice cream, which was pretty interesting. And then the, what's the last one? The corned beef. I didn't think the corned beef was as bad as Jen says it was. <laughs> it was pretty good. Like it wasn't, it wasn't my favorite thing on the menu. Like the, the steak was delicious. That was my favorite thing on the menu, but everything was really good. I just, I don't think the corned beef meal more into the $67 price tag. Right, that's, right. That's really what I think. Yeah, but, oh, that's a good point. You are getting a fantastic bargain here. Like if you order steak, if you order lobster, if you order this French toast stuff, I feel like you're getting your money's worth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, I am so full. And we're still getting dessert. Right. So, I don't know. I would recommend it. If you can get out here, I think there's maybe like one more weekend of Festival of the Arts. Well, hopefully they do it next year, too. Yeah. But if you guys can get out here for brunch at La Salle, awesome. I do recommend it. So here are our desserts. We got the creme brulee, which I'm sure has maple in it. Yeah, it does. 96% sure it has <laughs> maple in it. And this is called coffee and donuts. It's got two little donuts with a coffee mousse. It's very cute. 
so we're all done with brunch. What did you think of the desserts? I honestly, like if they had had that meal and not even offered the desserts, I would have been fine. Yeah. Like the desserts was, were good though. No, they were. They were really good. I think I liked the chocolate, not chocolate, the coffee mousse the best. Yeah, that was the best. But the little donuts were actually a bit dry. Yeah. But the, um, so if they were like a little bit more, if they had some kind of like glaze or something on them, I think they would have been like perfect. But the mousse was great. The creme brulee was good, but I'm not like a humongous fan of maple, um, which I know is like everything in, in Canada is maple flavored. Right. <laughs> but um, it wasn't bad. It was just not my like favorite thing. Right. But I, the, cu the coffee mousse was great. But the overall br uh, brunch, amazing. Oh my gosh. I really feel like we got our money's worth. We ate so much food. Our server, uh, Benjamin, I think was our yeah. server. He was fantastic. Literally the best service we've ever had at Disney World. He was so, so, so nice. So good. Yeah. Um, he explained everything really well. It was just, it was a great brunch. So we've had two favorite meals at Disney mm -hmm. and that was brunch at California Grill and brunch here at La Cellier. Two favorite brunches, you mean? Oh, I'm gonna call my favorite meals. Oh, okay, yeah. The brunch at um, California Girl was fantastic. I think you got more of a variety there. Yeah. Um, and that was more of like a like an entree and a buffet, so you got a little bit more food, I think, in general. Right. But this was so good, and yeah. I think I think that one was a little bit more expensive too. Right. So I did have to point out that there was slight bit of a misunderstanding from a lot of people that came in. Yeah. So when we booked it, we specifically booked brunch. Uh -huh. And on the weekends during Festival of the Arts, it's only brunch available. They don't have the lunch menu. It's only the brunch menu. And a lot of people came in expecting the lunch menu. There, there were a lot of upset guests that were like, I booked lunch. Why can't I eat lunch? But it's only brunch until four o'clock. Uh, until three. Well, but then you can't eat the regular menu until four. Right. And I found out why that is. So here's what happened with a lot of people. They said, let's go to La Cellier. What time do you want to go? Let's go at, at one. They like and lunch, they, they don't have lunch. Uh, yeah, but they just booked one o'clock and that's not as specific saying this will be brunch. Right. Your reservation will turn up as brunch at La Cellier, mm -hmm. but if you didn't specifically book brunch at La Cellier and you just booked like two o'clock eating at La Cellier, yeah. it wasn't very clear that you were getting brunch. Well, it was clear to us, so yeah, I don't know. because we specifically picked brunch. Oh, I see, so they just weren't looking at that part. Yeah, they were looking at eating at La Cellier. Let's get so, a reservation for two o'clock. There is a booth here called Enemy Inc. where you can pick your own design for a shirt. So like if you wanted a black shirt with a white figment, or a green shirt with a with a black Mickey. They have all of these different designs and they'll silk screen it right here for you. Pretty awesome. Ooh, are they doing it? They're gonna do it right now. This is exciting. Oh, there he goes. He's silk screening a shirt as we watch. Look, there it is. He made that just right now. And then he'll switch to a different design. Yeah, look, he's just like adding it all together. And the last thing he'll do is add just a character on there, maybe. Let's see, which one is he going to do? Oh, he's, he decided to use done. That was just an example shirt. Okay, so I think this little guy is uh, ready to call it a day. Oh yeah, look, yay, the monorail, monorail. But I think he's ready to call it a day. He is very tired and very cranky. And uh, we thought we were gonna stay and do some more fun stuff at Epcot, but I don't think we're gonna be able to do that today. Yeah. So we'll come back another day and we'll have another Epcot fun times. But for right now, I think this little babe needs to go home and go to bed. Yeah. So we're headed out and we're trying to shield him from the sun as we head out. It's very sunny today. Yeah, it wasn't earlier today, but it is now. Yeah, the sun just came out. Oh, look, new Fast Pass touch points over here. Oh, look at that. Brand new. Check it out. Is Test Track not running? No, it's closed right now for refurbishment until I think the 17th, so Monday it should open back up. It's like oddly quiet back here. What's this stage for? I don't know. But time to go home, little buddy. Wow, look at this demolition of mouse gear that's going on here. This looks, uh, totally different than from the last time that I was here. Everything is like, hi. Everything is uh, changed. Right. Nothing nothing looks the same. Look, you can see the Imagination Pavilion if you turn to the right, which you were never able to see that way. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. This is crazy. When will yeah. all this be done? I don't know. 
probably for the 50th. Uh, okay, that makes sense. That's what we're thinking. Wow. So there you have it. That was our trip out to Epcot for La Cellier brunch. Mm -hmm. Delicious. I would highly recommend that. I want to do it again. It was so, so, so good. Oh man. The mm. only thing that I didn't love was the lighting. It's yeah. so dark in there. It was, it's like mood lighting though. Other than that, I think it'd be great for dinner. But you know that's what, what I mean? we were saying though, is that it felt like we were not at Disney anymore. Yeah, it did. It felt like we were totally somewhere else. Yeah. But the food, all of the food was delicious. I would definitely recommend it. If you love brunch, I would try it for sure. Yeah. So all in all, fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll, and we'll see. see you guys tomorrow. I'm Noah. I'm Delaney. And now it's time to pay the price. price.